when you look at the built environment, it's an incredibly complex system. There are very many actors and things that influence. And if you look at why we set it up in the first place, some centuries ago, it was simply to provide shelter, a basic human need to people. And we got so good at doing that, you can build a city in China every few weeks. So if you really look at, is the built environment really good at doing what it was intended to do, it's phenomenally good at it. The interesting thing with complex systems is to shift them to new patterns of behavior, and we've realized providing shelter at that scale has environmental implications. That's something we've realized later requires a huge amount of management. So we're trying to manage that process of tipping the balance and bringing all those actors together to achieve systemic change. But that's not an easy thing. If you look at your definition of sustainability, people, profit, planet, these are not separate things. They have to be optimized together. And we're starting to see that the business case is really driving sustainability. And we're starting to see that it's not just because companies think it's a nice thing to do, it's because there are lower operating costs. You can sell or rent properties quicker, sometimes even indeed at a premium, or in markets where regulation is moving very fast. And if you don't create a green building, maybe you risk it becoming obsolete. You get rid of that risk. So there are many benefits and business benefits that are driving green building now.